begin with Nairobi County Governor Johnson Sakaja, who says he will serve residents irrespective of their political affiliation and ensure that Nairobi functions smoothly again. Sakaja and his deputy, James Mushiri, who took their oaths of office at a ceremony attended by President-elect William Ruto, also pledged to ensure that Nairobi becomes business-friendly and efficient in the handling of remittances. Director General of the Nairobi Metropolitan Services, Major General Mohamed Badi, said the NMS was ready to hand over functions to Sakaja's government, with the governor thanking him for his services to the people. President-elect William Ruto, who graced the event, pledged to introduce a raft of measures to support devolution. Serfin Achieng has more. It was an event characterized by pomp and color as Nairobi County Governor Johnson Sakaja and his deputy James Mushiri took oath of office. I, Sakaja Arthur Johnson, do swear. Sakaja taking charge and getting the opportunity to deliver on pledges he made to residents of Nairobi, promising a new dawn in the city under the sun. The days of leaving your house and coming back in the evening to find a demolished structure are over in the county of Nairobi. That the days of innocent traders and hawkers just plying their trade because the administration has not provided for them being chased and bungled into rust-filled contraptions by my good officers in the county are over. Are we particularly keen on ensuring that we make Nairobi pro-business by streamlining the licensing regime and building systems to make it easier for Nairobi residents and business people to not only receive services but to also pay what is due to the county government. So those are the instruments of power that the new governor has been given. Sakaja, who assumed office at the lapse of the extended tenure of the Nairobi Metropolitan Services, affirmed that he is ready to hit the ground running in managing the affairs of the county, thanking the enemy's Director General, Major General Mohamed Badi, for his stewardship. I also want to again to thank NMS General Badi, Thank you for the things you've been able to achieve. We shall take over and do. And I'm glad that you are available for us to call upon you at any time. I know you also have a good team. And we shall sit down and agree who comes back to the county and who goes back to the national um, government. NMS has been in charge of the county's four key functions, which include health services, transport, public works, utilities, and ancillary services, as well as county planning and development, functions that were surrendered to the national government by the former governor, Mike Sonko, in a move that was meant to ensure smooth running of services after Sonko was barred from accessing his county office over allegations of corruption. Major General Badi has affirmed that he is ready to surrender the functions back to the county government of Nairobi. The NMS has accomplished all the tasks given to do within the two years. And the extra tasks that we have taken on board, which are ongoing projects, I'll be more than happy to hand over. I know you'll make this great county prosper. I believe leaving Nairobi to Sakaja, I know you are well taken care of. The swearing-in ceremony was graced by several dignitaries, including President-elect William Ruto, who affirmed his commitment to collaborate with the elected governors in promoting devolution. I want to commit to all our governors that the government of Kenya going forward will make it possible that the shareable revenue will be re re released in time and in accordance with the law and the constitution so that we can better manage our counties and make it possible for you to deliver on your mandate and the commitments you have made to the constituents in your counties. 
As governors take oath of office across the country, Kenyans remain expectant of yet another milestone in the success story of devolution through the implementation of their well-crafted manifesto that was part of their campaign promises to the residents. Safin Aching Oma, Citizen TV.